Yeah, so I want to take a look at my F650, my F550, and my F350 dump trucks. My 350 is nice for those smaller jobs. You know, really an intro into landscaping. Um, it's ideal. I'll kind of give you a walk around, give you a rundown on it. It's not good for hauling heavy equipment. Maybe if you had like a mini skid steer and you're moving three, four yards of material on a regular basis. Next step up is going to be my F550. That is just an absolute workhorse. Ton of towing power. Just absolute beast. It's got a eight foot bed on it flatbed it's good for sod for rock for bulk materials I can haul you know six uh, yards of material on it I can haul about 10 yards of mulch on it I mean it's just it's awesome the next step up is my f650 this is great for if you have like a bulk load brought out from the quarry to your job site you don't use it all you got to haul back like eight yards of material that's what this trucks for or if you go straight to the quarry and you get eight yards of material and come out where you don't need a full 20 yard truck it's that middle of the road dump truck and it's just really came in handy for my company. We made a lot of money with it in the last year and a half. All right, guys, so we're going to go do a little bit of a walk around on each of these trucks, and uh, you guys can decide for yourself. All right, guys, so the first one I want to talk about is going to be my F650. Things roar, and it's cold outside. We hauled a load of plants home yesterday, so that's what you see in the truck. We're about to get them unloaded. We did a huge demo on a pull project. So this truck came in very handy. What we did is we brought out a load of inch and a half gravel to our job site yesterday, put it down as a road base, and then we loaded all these plants up and brought them home. So we had a load going there and a haul back that we were able to charge for came in super handy. The reason I ever jumped up and got me a 650 was because of the bed size. So I had a lot of loads that we were taking out that were, you know, four or five yard loads are on. That was good for my smaller trucks. I'll show you here in a minute. But when I started getting into those eight yard load and needing more mulch, like 12 and 15 yards, like this thing hauls, I caught myself making two and three trips. That's why I went ahead and made the decision to purchase this because more times than not, we're making those haul backs, you know, two times where we could do it with one with this times money. So we decided to buy this truck. This truck's got a 16 foot bed on it, guys. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, this truck is a 99 model F650. It's got a 7.3 liter diesel engine in it, the standard transmission. It will haul a ton of weight, just an absolute workhorse. It's got a 16 foot bed on it with a PTO dump, and we went ahead and put two foot fold down sides. It's actually broken into two sections. We got an eight foot section there, and then an eight foot section there, and they actually separate, fold down, and slide off for when we go haul a bunch of sod. So, I mean, I can haul eight pallets of sod on this truck or rock, um, or even go out, haul 15 yards of mulch on it. We just tarp it, or even come in and haul eight yards of gravel. It's super handy, helps us with not having those haul backs with our four and a half yard truck. We're not having to push the limits because we found ourselves maxing out our other truck all the time, and we know that's not safe. The next dump truck I want to talk to you about is my F550. This also has 7.3 liter diesel engine in it, standard transmission. It's got more power than my 650. I don't know why. So this 550, whether it's got four ton of material in the back, this 10,000 pound machine on there as well, it hauls it no problem. I like it because I can put mulch, rock, topsoil, sod, pallets, whatever, you name it, put it in there, have a machine to move it, and get it to the job, no issues. We got these little boxes on here. They're great, but can't put a whole lot of tools in there. They actually even dump with the beds. This truck has an eight and a half foot bed on it. It's great. This is just some simple C-channel welded to the top of that regular flatbed that we put a PTO dump on. We've got the boxes mounted underneath. These are good for putting like chains and binders, stakes, stuff like that in, but they're not really good for putting any other kind of tools. 
that's typically what the back seat of the truck gets used for. So there are some modifications to talk about here in a minute. I do like having the little pipes for the tools. That way we can keep tools on the truck at all times. We've got the two by 12 on top of the C channel and a two by six on top of that. We cut it here at the halfway mark so we can still hook up to the gooseneck in case we're having to haul really heavy material or multiple pallets aside and we don't have our big truck available. But let's go check out my 350 where you'll see what I'm talking about. All right guys, and that brings you to my third dump truck. So this is my F350. <laughs> It's a 1997 model. It is an automatic. It's been a really handy truck. It was great. I actually had one just like this, except in a standard transmission. I sold to my buddy for his landscape shop just because we weren't using it a whole lot. It was winter. I needed money. I sold it. Next year, we went ahead and got into this one because I missed it so much. The truck's been really great, guys. We've had a little bit of transmission problems with it. Uh, it was probably from overworking it, having an automatic transmission instead of the standard. We would haul our tractor on there, which is like four to 5,000 pounds, and then we'd put four to 5,000 pounds in the back of the truck along with the trailer, and I think we just overworked it. I mean, it's been, a, it's been a great truck to us. It's got an electric dump on it. So this is the bed that I was telling you about. This is the actual standard bed. Uh, went ahead and disconnected the functions, but it's got it where I actually can side dump each direction and back dump. Uh, so if you're pulling up to a curb, I just disconnected that. I didn't want my guys to get on uneven ground, dump that thing, end up breaking the dump cylinder. We went ahead and we got these nice cedar sideboards. That way we can put a lot of extra material in them. Uh, that helps us when we're hauling big loads. I just, I really like it. You know what you see in there? It's got a little bit of rust. It come from up north. It's been a great truck for me. We've got less than $6,000 in it well before i did the bumper and some extras but just in the truck itself so i probably got about 7500 in it now but it's been it's been a great work truck for me guys and uh, i've been really happy with it the only thing um, that i would change is a single cab and not having any boxes there's nowhere to put tools so that's something i want to talk about for just a second is the few modifications that i would make so i would either make sure that i had an extended cab truck or a four-door or I'd really like to have those boxes that go all the way across. They sit right here between the cab and the truck. And that way you've got the spot to put your tools all the way across. You've got an individual box underneath. That way you can put your setup stuff like your paint, your lines, your stakes, all that stuff for setting a job up, even your hand tools. So I would really like to have those the two level box that goes all the way across here and then have this box setting back right in here. You know, that's the one thing that I would probably like to put on all of my trucks uh, when we start selling these and going ahead and looking at upgrading. That's gonna be one thing that I'm looking at is having that box that's stationary against the cab on all my trucks. I hope that this was beneficial to you in making your decision. I also have owned a dump trailer, which we'll talk about here in just a second. All right, guys, so after looking at these trucks, um, some of you are probably like, hey man, why don't you have a dump trailer? Just use one of your other trucks. I used to own a dump trailer. The bumper pulls that I had looked at didn't handle the weight like I needed, so I had to get a gooseneck. When I got a gooseneck, I was using up my bed space and I couldn't haul material. That's the dilemma that I got into. All right, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the walk around of all these trucks. I hope you can decide which one's best for you. For me, like I said, smaller landscape jobs, that F-350 dump truck, it was ideal, uh, especially getting into landscaping, coming from lawn care. When I started getting into excavating and moving heavy equipment, you know, doing big landscapes, new construction, this is when my F-550 really came in handy. Make that next step up into the standard transmission, bigger truck, towing capacity, things like that. We just decided that since we were doing so much bulk material delivered straight to our job sites, we weren't coming from the landscape shops anymore. We decided that we were gonna buy the F650. Been a great addition. I'd love to keep all three, but we just don't use our little truck anymore since we've got these other two. I'll probably be selling my little truck here before long, just keeping the other two. Another reason that I'm gonna be selling the little truck is because my 550 will do everything that that truck truck will do. The only thing that came in handy was when my employees couldn't drive a truck that was a standard and I could just put them in that automatic. They go dump their material, do their stuff and be done. We're not running one two man landscape teams anymore. This winter we've been running a seven man crew knocking these jobs out. We've been knocking out $3,500, $4,000 jobs in a day, day and a half. We're running a little bigger team knocking this stuff out and we just haven't seen a need to put the uh, little dump truck on the road anymore. All right, so guys, I'd love to know what works best for your business. If you own a dump truck, if you don't, what you're looking at. I know some guys have looked at the dump inserts. If you didn't want to get into a truck, you know, get in another truck and another insurance. So if you had yourself a good one ton truck already, I would recommend that you just go ahead and get that bumper pull, 12 foot trailer, getting into landscaping. That way you can haul your equipment on it. You can dump material, move material, stuff like that. For me, we're doing a little 
little bit more. We're hauling a little bit bigger material, hauling a little bit bigger machines. For me right now, it's not ideal. If I get back into those smaller landscape teams come spring, that'll be something I do. I'll use my one ton service truck, give me a nice pull behind dump trailer, put my dingo on it, be the ideal landscape setup. Guys, I'd like for you to comment down below. Let me know what works for your business. Let me know what you're looking to do. I'd love to talk to you about it, kind of, you know, problem solve, brainstorm, and figure out what's gonna be best for your company. You can't go wrong with anything that's gonna be dumping. Look at what you can charge for hauling, what you're gonna save for dumping of debris and materials. And you can also start delivering materials to properties. That's something that as soon as we bought our first dump truck, we started doing for our lawn maintenance clients. They say, hey, I need some mulch or some gravel or some dirt. And we say, yeah, of course. And we'd go make us a quick $75, pick it up from the landscape shop, take it over to their place and dump it. Now we have all bolt materials at our place. So we're able to even make a little bit more money on that. But guys, I hope you found today's video helpful. Uh, really do appreciate your support. Be sure, like I said, leave a comment down below and we'll see you on the next one.